Yo, it is half nine at night and we are going to head out into Qatar and we're going to go get a photo that I've wanted all week since I got here from wanting to go out and get this photo and we're going to go get it right now. Yo, I'm in Doha, Qatar and we're about to go quad biking along the beach and in the desert because why not? Let's fucking go. Look, there's a sound dude. Oh yeah! <laughs> I just started filming. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be soon! Isn't it? Soon! If I hit record, you should just start chatting. <laughs> <laughs> Worst part wearing glasses in a hot country is this happens every time you walk outside after being in air conditioning. It's got de mist or de fog stuff on it, but it just doesn't seem to work. Pretty cool city. Lovely. Fucking love. Oh my god. 
Oh, what a day! What a fucking view! I don't know how to give you the GoPro. Huh? I don't even know how to give you the GoPro. Oh. I'm not sure why I thought it would be a good idea to wear the thicker seat shirt I've got with me, but I am sweating so much. I'm so hot, I mean, you can see it already. This is ridiculous. Yes. All right, let me, see how, let me see what the temperature is. It's still 31 degrees. It was a high of 42 today. Holy Christ. The view behind you right now. This is the shot. This is the shot right here. Yo, in a very fast change of plan, I've gone from deciding to edit for the rest of the evening to we're going to go check out Suk Wak Watif. Suk Wak Wakif. Sukwakif? I think that's how you say it. But we can eat an Uber for like two pound and it'll be here in one minute. Um, it shuts in an hour and 10 minutes and it's a 12 minute drive. So let's go. I need you. So I'm apparently now at Suk Wakif, but if I'm honest, I don't actually know where I'm going because is it this whole area? It does look a bit shoppy like over there, but like map says it's this way. So I'm really confused. I don't actually know where the hell I'm meant to be going. And we've got an hour to explore. That looks like it over there. All I know is I've been told that it has everything here. Like everything you could want they've got here and apparently it's pretty mad so that's what I'm going off of I am walking this way just because this looks a little bit like it might be it maybe no I don't think so I think it's that over there but we're gonna head over there I think this is a crossing so I mean spot the tourists am I right <laughs> just walking straight across. I mean, it's a crossing, is it? Like, come on. Fun fact: I had camel for dinner. Really random change of subject. I they hosted a barbecue at the circuit tonight, and there was what looked like a camel on the table. And like someone, we made a few jokes about, oh, they're serving us camel for dinner, haha. <laughs> and then we asked the guy what meat it was, and he was like camel, and we're like, oh. I went for seconds. It was banging. It was like lamb, but like fattier and less flavour. It's the best way to explain it. 
it was yeah it was really nice so we went we had we had camel for dinner uh i'm pretty sure this is the soup it's actually been a sweet minute since i've vlogged in public so this is i'm getting some looks so i don't think this is particularly common here um but yeah as i always say if you want to get better at doing something you just gotta fucking do it so I have no idea where I'm going, but this is absolutely huge. It's, it just goes in like every direction. I was just a wonder. So look at that map. I think it's massive. Like massive. As you can see, a lot of places are actually showing up because I am here quite late. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to get another chance to come down here this week. So I uh, thought I'd come down anyway. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> it does seem like you can buy it. pretty much anything here. I've seen watches, I've seen rings, I've seen handbags, I've seen clothes, I've seen paintings, I've seen the like. Ornaments, fabrics, rugs. Apparently, there's a bird market somewhere around here as well. But yeah, and I'm now realizing the sheer scale of this thing. This thing is huge. Oh, I'm pounds. I think I found the birds. Yeah, I found the birds. Let's get a look at the birds. It's down here. Considering there's a restaurant next to the birds. Oh, okay. oh my god, there's cats. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh, little. Look at the kitties. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Loud. I don't know if I can vlog here because it's so loud. They gave me a beard. Well, I don't know if they want me to film this. Oh wow, there's more. Oh, there's rabbits as well. There's loads as well. What do you mean? I want to see the cats. The cats were cute. I want to look at the cats. Oh okay. god. I don't know if I can because he's like locking the door. I don't know if we're meant to go in. But I want to see the kitties again. Oh my goodness, hello. Hello. Oh, you are precious. Hello. Oh. I really don't want them in cages. I want to make that very clear right now. These cages are not ideal, but Yeah, I mean, it's not. Oh, but it's, just, it's just how they sort. I think I'm assuming that's sort of how they do things here. These cages aren't ideal for the cats or the birds, but it's how it is. So you know, like I can't come here and cause a scene about it. You know, where's this kitty? Cat? I don't know where that cat's gone. That was a very cute cat. Um, but yeah, cages aside. Very cute cats. I don't want to chuck a negative spin on this, but the more I time I spend in this bird market, the more I don't like, the more I'm realizing how many birds are crammed into one gauge. Like, this just isn't fair. But again, I don't want to cause it like I'm not 
is how they, I'm assuming it's how they do things here, you know. It's very hard to, I don't know, say anything about it. But he just wants to be my video. I can see what people meant by it. There's literally everything here. A sweet shop as well. Loads of stuff. This little street is all closed, but it looks like it's toy stuff. So yeah, but I think you can literally get anything you want here. It is very much safe to say that this place has everything you can want. This is sick. What sick ass walk is this? It's like it should be in Harry Potter. Like, this is mad. To come into Qatar, this is well worth a look or a visit just to see what they've got here. You know this time, like as I say, it's closing now and it's still absolutely awesome to see. And there's loads of little like nook and crannies like this, like this little walkthrough area here leading through to another street. Like, it's awesome. Oh my god, kiddies. Oh my god, oh my god. I completely lost my train of thought. The cats really distracted me then. But like this, this is a whole street of just. I think this is all jewelry shops and a little cafe. But pretty much all jewelry shops. There is just an abundance of stuff here. Whether you're just window shopping, or you actually want to go shopping. I mean, this place looks awesome. Also, it's worth noticing that I've covered like barely any of this at all in the like half hour, 45 minutes that I've been walking around exploring. I've literally done like one corner of this place. It's mad. There's so much here. I bet there are some absolutely awesome little things like buried in here somewhere. And if what you've seen so far is enough, there's a giant gold thumb. I really know why or what this represents. Hello, but, oh, good. There is a giant gold thumb. I don't know why. <laughs> something else, something I've just spotted. If you fancy it while you're here, I mean, good luck explaining it to customers when you get back home. But if you want to buy a knife or a sword, you can do that here. That one, that is gorgeous. And I love these. So that, these are sick. These are actually so cool. Okay, I don't have to show you this on camera or show you the photo first. Let's show you on camera. Look at, look at that. Look at that, get me out of the way. Look at that view. Look at that. Holy moly. Now, the reason I came further around is because this, this main guitar thing is right in the center here. Now, if I'm being completely honest, I would like a slightly more crop lens. <laughs> this is only crop as I can go is 28 mil. I would like a slightly more crop lens to capture this, but we can crop and post. Because fucking look at that. Look at that! Look at it! Alright, I'm gonna get the photo. That is, that is sick. That is so sick, I love that. I actually love how far away it is, to be honest. I love the fact there's like a natural, from the like light pollution of the city, and like where it's, it's light polluting the sky over there, but then over there and over there it's darker. It's like it's a natural vignette around the city. I love that. I can't go over this view. Look at that. I am so sweaty. But completely worth it for that shot. And no, it's fair. Photography, videography, vlog, any documentation of this evening aside, completely worth it just to sit here and see that. 
trying to sit here and take in the fact that I am blessed enough that I have the ability to sit here and see this. That in itself is just, that's enough. Sitting here peacefully watching this, just this is what I mean by the duality of the two sides of Qatar. It's going from doing out here in 85k's quad biking around a desert to sitting here and just looking at that. Something special. You know what? I don't think there's a better place I could end this vlog than. That view right there behind me. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up down below, subscribe if you're not already, all the other stuff that YouTube's there to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.